Hi, BookTube, it's Gina. Happy Monday. I thought it would be fun today to talk to you about one of my favorite cozy authors, Miss Reed. Now, you all know I love Miss Reed. I've got her books here behind me in most of my videos. And I've never really showed you my collection. So I thought today it would be fun to show you a little bit of my misread collection, maybe read you a couple of passages from some of my favorite books and just talk a little bit about what is my favorite misread series, The Thrush green series and this is the series if i were starting miss reed this is the series that i would want to start with the first book in the thresh green series is simply called thresh green and look at that cover isn't it beautiful now i'm probably not going to go into depth about each of the books i'm going to show you all of the covers that i have and I will list down below the order that the series is, was written in so that if you want to read them, you have the order um, down below. Um, sorry, I got a cat hair, but this is the first one in the series. I just recently purchased this book. Um, I think I got this off of, it was either Thrift or Abe, and I just love the cover. This one is set in May, at the beginning, a little boy is waiting for the fair and he's been sick. He doesn't know if he's gonna be able to go to the fair, but let me read you that very first sentence. It's very sweet. It's called, The Day Begins. And there is a picture of the fair. And the first passage is, as soon as he opened his eyes, the child remembered and his heart soared. This was the day he had waited for so long, the day of the fair. He lay there for a minute beneath his tumbled bedclothes, savoring the excitement. His mind eyes saw again with the sharp clarity of a six-year-old, the battered galloping horses with flaring nostrils, the glittering brass posts twisted like like giant barley sugar sticks, the dizzy red and yellow swing boats, and the snakes of black flecks that coiled across the bruised grass of thrush green, waiting to ensnare the feet of the bedazzled. I love that opening passage. And the boy does get, get to go to the fair. Uh, this book, this edition, I love because, let me see if I can show you this. It's got the original price, which was 15S. Is that 15 shillings? I'm not sure. Um, but this was published back in 1959. That is when the series started. And she wrote it throughout many, many years. So this little boy that's six years old in this book is still only a teenager in the last book. There are some oddnesses with ages um, in this series. All of the people don't age at the same rate, so you have to suspend a little bit of disbelief. Um, but this is the first book. They are illustrated by J.S. Goodall, uh, and I just love his illustrations in these. So that is Thrush Green. That's book number one. Um, then we've got... Um, let's see. Oh, this one's also got the original price. Um, and this one is News from Thrush Green. I also, I just, I'm going to say I love all of these covers because that's going to be a theme. I think they're so charming and sweet. This was a present from a dear friend and... This is also, I started to show this. This has also got the original price. It says 30S or one pound 50. And also they're all illustrated by J.S. Uh, Goodall. Um, and let me see if I can find another illustration in here. Here's a cute illustration. Um, 
I just love these. Um, I also have a paperback edition of News from Thrush Green. This one I will keep forever. This book is really special to me because this is the very first Miss Reed book that I ever read and got a little bit munched, sadly, but this was the one I was reading back in 2013 during a difficult time, and this was just so comforting and so relaxing that I um, that I just I fell in love with Miss Reed and read um, everything else at that point. Um, the next one I've got to show you is Battles at Thrush Green. Uh, a a uh, 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 <laughs> little bit of a fight between the town members of what is going to happen to the cemetery. The the rector wants to move some some things around, and the town does not. It's a big controversy. Um, next, I have got Return to Thresh Green. And this, look at that caravan on the cover. This is um, the caravan that the owner of the fair lives in, the original tiny house. Next, I've got Gossip from Thresh Green. And then we've got Affairs at Thresh Green. And then we've got the school at Thresh Green, which features the two teachers, Miss Watson and little Miss Fogarty. And then we've got friends at Thresh Green. Celebrations from Thresh Green. And the year at Thresh Green. Look at that. Everybody's everybody's little little scarves in the snow. I love that cover. Um, there was one passage I wanted to read to you here from um, let's see, this one was gossip. This is from gossip from Thresh Green because I love this passage. It really, and this book was actually originally published in 1982. So you can see that the length of time that she was writing these books. Now this was an American edition and the original copyright was 1981. So it still was, it, it spanned a, a long time frame. Um, the, the chapter that I wanted to share with you in this one is called Afternoon Tea. In far too many places in England today, the agreeable habit of taking afternoon tea has vanished. Such a shocking waste of time, says one. Much too fattening a meal with all that dreadful starch, says another. Quite unnecessary if one has had lunch or proposes to eat in the evening, says a third. All very true, no doubt, but what a lot of innocent pleasure these strong-minded people are missing. The very ritual of tea-making, warming the pot, making sure that the water is just boiling, inhaling the fragrant steam, arranging the tea cozy to fit snugly around the precious container. All the preliminaries lead up to the exquisite pleasure of sipping the brew from the thin porcelain and helping oneself to hot buttered scones and strawberry jam, a slice of feather light sponge cake or homemade shortbread. Isn't that wonderful? And if you like that sentence, you will love these books. If that sentence is, is not up your alley, then you may want to skip this, but I absolutely love it. I find them to be so cozy, so wonderful. Uh, so that is the Thresh Green series. It's my favorite series primarily because it starts with a group of characters and you really follow those characters and of course new ones come and go but you follow the same characters throughout the entire series you get to know them you fall in love with them and i really enjoy that about about this series in particular now she's got another big series which is called the fair acre series and then she's also got some standalones and a, a super short series called the caxley chronicles which we will talk about um, another day so i hope that you enjoyed this quick overview of 
one of my favorite authors, Miss Reed, and the Thrush Green series. Talk to you later. Bye.